Hello all nighters, in this video we are going to discuss about tokens, lexeme, like patterns and attributes of tokens. First of all coming to tokens, tokens is nothing but a sequence of characters that represent a specific unit of meaning in the language. The tokens can be keywords identifiers, operators and literals. While the tokens cannot be comments and white spaces. White spaces can include tab space and new line as well. To understand it it is simply some unit in the source program that consists of a meaning. For example, consider a simple statement in C language float A is equals to 3.14. Now the compiler will read it from character to character, character by character. First it will read only F. It doesn't get any meaning. Then it will read F and L. The same it doesn't get any meaning as FL is not any keyword. So until it reaches this T where it finally makes sense. It's a keyword. So this is a token. It can be a keyword. Next we have this white space. White space can be ignored because comments and white spaces are not tokens. And then after a keyword float a compiler knows it is followed by an identifier. An identifier can be anything which starts with a letter or underscore. So this is one token as well. Next it is followed by equals. This is one token as well. This is operator and this is constant value. This is one token and the semicolon end. This is a separator. This is a token as well. So in this statement we are having five tokens. Token is nothing but a unit in a, any language that makes sense, that has some meaning. A sequence of characters that represent a specific unit of meaning in the language. These can be the tokens, whereas this cannot be the tokens. Next, let us understand about patterns. Patterns can be simply said as rules. Rules on which lexemes are uh, taken. Patterns, to put it simply, it is the description of the form that the lexeme may take. For example, these are simply, uh, remember them as rules. To be followed by any lexeme, to be considered as a lexeme. For example, take any keyword. Let us take a keyword else. Now for this to be considered as a lexeme, it is simply group of characters, sequence of characters E L S E. It should be in this manner to be considered as a keyword, which is a lexeme uh, to consider. Now consider an identifier for suppose all nighters. For something to be an identifier, uh, it should follow. Uh, it should follow certain rules such as it should start with a letter or an underscore. It should only contain letter, underscore, and a digit. There are sub certain rules, so the pattern may be complex in this case. Whereas in the above case, it is just, just simply sequence of characters. Next, coming to lexemes. Lexemes are sequence of characters in the source program that matches the pattern for a token. That means Lexeme is nothing but a sequence of characters that 
follows these rules to be considered the follower is rules rules are nothing but uh, here patterns that follows these pattern to be considered as a token consider the same example float a equals to 3.14 now here the pattern for a keyword is simply a uh, sequence of characters right okay now this float is is it following the sequence of characters of a keyword that is f l o a t if it uh, follows it it is a lexeme now consider this a is it following all the rules to be an identifier if it follows this is a lexeme it is similar to token or we can simply say it as instance of a token it is identifier by, by lexical analyzer and finally we are going to understand about attributes of tokens token usually consists of a pair which consists of token name and an optional attribute this optional attribute generally points to is a pointer which points to the symbol table when a lexeme when a lexeme is encountered in a source program it is necessary to keep track of other occurrences of the same lexeme if this lexeme is seen before or not for example consider this thing sum is equals to a plus b and average equals to sum by 2 in this example first first occurrence of this sum is in this first line and the second occurrence is in second line here uh, we use uh, the same sum here right so when we get to this sum the lexeme the sim it should be in a symbol table already because it is an identifier and it should be in a symbol table stored previously so when this the, when the compiler comes to this sum it should all automatically get note of this the previous sum or the previous uh, where, where where we used the sum before in this program so this we can write it as the token pair as this pointer points to this sum in the symbol table 